Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fix. This is a new <laughs> weekly segment. Look at these at they get what? come on. This is better. This is better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new weekly segment, guys, we're bringing you on the Supernatural Strength channel, along with myself, the fat lad, Neil Pickup. We have also got a very sexy. And I'm going to say that tonight he's going for a bit of a sinister look, Ryan Bowen. He's got half his face in darkness, the evil side, half his face in light, the good side, and we'll see which one we get on the show tonight. We've also got a man who has ripped off me on uh, quarantine haircut there, Coach Ray. We both bought the same set of clippers off Amazon. Nice work. Yeah. Exactly. What number is that, Ray? What did you go down to? How much How much bottle have you got? Are we talking like a number two grade there? Is that a number three? What is that? It's, uh, it's very, very close to what I have done in the past. So it's uh, one centimeter or something like that. Is this, is, this, uh, is this your first ever attempt at home hairdresser? No, 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 no. Oh, you're a series I was, of... I was, I was lazy before. I was lazy before. Have you thought about doing a series of videos where you walk people through all the disparate elements of the hair shop. I'm not used to seeing Coach Ray with such a slick hair. Like, you usually have that big, nice, stylish sweep yeah. over. It. Yeah, he yeah. works the quip, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. You know? yeah. It's, it's a good angle, it. You it's might gone. get picked up it's by gone. a hair gel sponsor. So, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you could, you could that, like, say... That was the up, plan. Honey. That was the plan. Now it's, hey, gone. it's gone. I think it's a yeah. good look, mate. Ryan's going for it. Look, look at Ryan there. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. I've just come back to it. I had the I had the uh, the shaved, and now I'm just trying to get some length again. So yeah, it's pretty good, I'm, mate. That's it. Yeah, going for that sexy the, look. The, yeah, the, the John Brazant glasses. Like, what yeah, do you think of them? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's a good thing. I need to find some glasses. I need to yeah. get some glasses too. <laughs> well, I, 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 he's getting, yeah, you look more intelligent like that. It's interesting that you say, yeah. actually, you're just going to go for some length again. That's what my, my missus says when she goes out with the mates on a Thursday night. But anyway, <laughs> well, I think we should probably start talking about arm wrestling at some point. Go on, mate, put your glasses on so you look more intelligent. And I'll be no, the no, no. I, I will do it when, uh, when we have some serious subjects. When it's serious, say. serious. In okay. my opinion. Yeah, there you go. That never worked for Jeff Hale. But we're going to yeah. go with it. <laughs> right, so the fix. Let's walk through this. Everybody knows at the moment that we are on global lockdown due to COVID-19. Quite worrying. If you've spotted that dry cough there, don't be too concerned. I've just had some pepper for my lunch. But um, <laughs> during this period of time, we wanted to get together two of the biggest names in YouTube arm wrestling. Raymond Lipinge and, of course, Ryan Bowen to give their insight and opinion on all things arm wrestling. Now, one thing I will say about this is it's always entertaining when you get Ryan on, because he's got, I think it's his life's mission to piss off most of the Western world with comments, you know. <laughs> so we, we, <coughs> we bounced this around a little bit before we came on, and we're like, well, what shall we talk about? And we came up with a few things, bits and bobs, and, we'll, you know, we'll get on to that. But before we do, Ryan, I believe Herman Stevens is a bum. It, uh... I, I I was discussing this today, saying it's very interesting the way that the the arm wrestling world perceives arm wrestlers. Are are, are we heroes or villains? And I said like Travis Bajan, he's like eighty percent villain, twenty percent hero. Devin Larratt, probably eighty percent hero, twenty percent villain. And I said to, I said to myself, look, I actually don't know. I think I'm fairly fifty fifty, but I'm I seem to be swinging more towards villain in North America a lot. Anyway, I don't know. So, well, at the moment, um, if you sit to your right a little bit, you definitely be going more towards <laughs> Every time you come to your left, you're going more towards Angel. No, you're going to Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but, you're working it. Yeah, Herm, Herman Stevens, if anyone saw my last live um, yesterday, I was just doing a live Q&A on my YouTube channel, and someone asked me about Herman. And and I said, yeah, I think yeah, I think her, actually think believe Herman's overrated. Um, and what I... What I meant by that was I gave it some context and I said that uh, everyone's opinion is very, very, that I've seen is they consider Herman almost on par with Todd Hutchins in a lot of respects. And, and I just, I just don't see that or feel that. Um, when we were in Poland at the Zloty Tour, uh, Herman pulled the IFA, uh, which I didn't. So that's one bit of work that he had on his arm, but we both went one and two in the Zloty. And we'd had about half an hour's rest after Zlotty. And Herman pointed out at me and said, hey, Ryan, let's go 
side table, you, me. So we were each other's first side table pull, and Herman couldn't pin me, and I felt his hook, I felt his top roll attack, I felt his press, and I was able to uh, maneuver around all of them. And, and honestly, side table pulling, side table pulling, but I can't do that to someone like Todd Hutchins. Um, uh, and I think people put Herman on a pedestal a little higher than he actually is. He's a great arm wrestler. Don't get me wrong. He won the IFA right arm, and he and he's been a, he's been on the podium at Zloty before. So I respect the man for what he's done. I just I personally just think I'd beat him if I if I was to face him fresh, fresh, fresh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> look, I'm gonna I'm gonna go wading in on this in a second. But first of all, I saw the glasses go on there, Ramon. So come on, mate. What, what, yeah. What's your take on this? Do you rate Herman Stevens as a bum? No, I don't think so. But um, I think from all the matchups, that Ryan Ryan wants to arm wrestle everyone. We know that. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a good matchup. And if you beat Herman Stevens, that would make a good statement, in my opinion, because he mm -hmm. is legit. Placing Put any year's Lottie Tour in top three is good. And that year he was super good. I was there. Uh, I don't know what happened. Everyone was going to change us. But I, I think, first of all, guys, Practice is practice. You know, you yeah. don't go 100% in practice. You can try, but it's still, you know, it's especially when you just finish the competition. The competition is finished, and you're, I'm, I'm always on a lockdown myself. I'm like, done. It's, you never will go as hard as you do on competition. So if you would set up that match, I would, uh, I would love to see that match. And uh, <laughs> I, I know you have improved a lot, but I wouldn't say he's a bum. No. Yeah, no, no, and I don't say he's a bum, really. I, I mean, I say that just to to stir the pot a little. Bit. I, I, like I, I said, know, I respect him and but um, no, but like, bum is nothing bad in arm wrestling from now on. Yeah. Bum, I, 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 like, I've, I've been one since like 2006. I'm all good with it. You know? <laughs> I'm still so, like, with my bum ability I, at the moment. No, I actually, I actually think Neil. Actually, I think that you would be. I'd be more scared of you than Herman Stevens if I if they have a match with well, for sure. You need yeah, to even right now, I, you, 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 you sell yourself so short. I see you in those British nationals just friggin' carving people's wrists up and looking at them and then just belting them to the pad. I, you, I don't think you've lost as much as you think you've lost. Oh, God, I, mate, I have. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I, I actually am a bum. <laughs> like, legit. But, uh, everyone else is just a bigger bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take a comment on that, but... I, what I, what I will say on the Herman's part, right? Let's 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 keep with the Herman part. And yeah. it's a couple of things I'm going to break down. And I haven't actually seen Herman's response to this yet, which I will check out at some point. But mm. um, and it'll be interesting his take on this, whether he reacted to that, whether he didn't really react to it. Um, my opinion of Herman is a little bit that he's kind of a flaky guy where arm wrestling's involved. He floats in and he's committed. He floats out and he's less committed. Uh, his weight's all over the place. You know, sometimes you see him and he, he looks like pretty heavy and out of shape. Other times you see him and he looks, you know, he looks race ready. The other thing I will say is, I'm not sure how old Herman is, but he's got to be in his 40s. I bet he's early. Yeah, no, he's younger I mean, than me, Neil. Is he's he? only 33. Is he really? Jeez. He's younger than me. I was stunned too. With the day I found out, I'm like, get out of here. Herman's younger than me. Wow. No way. And how old he are you? Is. How old I'm are you? I'm 34. Right? You're 34, and Herman Stevens is younger than you. Yes. God yes. damn, that dude's had a rough paper. Herman, <laughs> you need to get into some serious moisturizers, son. I'm uh, not going to lie. Yeah. But <clears throat> what I will say is, maybe that's a thing, but I, I don't think Herman is in any way, shape, or form as committed, even close, as you are, Ryan. Not even close. The other thing mm. is, I think it's difficult for you probably to get your head around the practice table scenario right now, where it would be with a lot of people. If you don't pull regularly, and by regularly I mean an obsessive level or a professional yeah. level like yourself, it may be a situation where because he just pulled the IFA, he may have been busted up, torn up. I don't know. He may not have been. I really don't yeah. know the situation. But I think that there's definitely a seasoning process within the sport where you, if you pull very regularly all the time, it becomes, yeah, your body adjusts and you can do it, you know. Certainly, I got myself to a stage where I used to pull 
every day hard, you know, and in bad mm. positions, and it never used to bother me. Now I pull like once in six months, I'm still screwed. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're just not used well, to it. I, I, I agree with the, the practice table. For me, when I practice in Brisbane, I don't feel like my standard drops much at all. But that's because the average in Brisbane is not the average of the Zlotty crowd or the average that was at John Brzezink's house oh, in exactly. Arizona last year, the barbecue. I, I don't think I've ever been more sore than um, that Arizona barbecue pulling session that we had at John's last year. It was uh, yeah. like everyone there was a was an amazing arm wrestler. Um, how, and, how long was it between the tournament and the after pulling thing? Was that oh. that day or it was the, the, the next, next day. day. The next, next, day. next yeah. day. And we and we did it from eleven till about ten PM in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Close to ten so hours like, at least an hour. Like Ray, I, I, I every time I pulled with Ray, I just cannot cannot stop that man's press. Ray Ray has just literally walked all over me, just repeatedly belting me, making me feel like a child. But I, I'm, I would, I just, want, I want to full Ray on the practice table when I'm, when I'm not beat up. I just want to see if I can actually do something because right now, I, every time Ray's touched my hand, he's crushed me. But I do think that what I felt in Herman that day, I think that I have a good ability to, to read a situation in all circumstances, to feel. And, and like I said, I, I know that he's going to be stronger and more aggressive come comp day. Of course. Yep. Um, we eased, we eased in. No one was surging. We we eased into a hook and ramped up a pull. And in that circumstance, I was able to get stops. Um, so data is data. For me, every time I touch someone's hand, I'm I'm c collecting in intelligence and gathering information. And even if it is a practice pull, you still have an opportunity to gather gather something. Mm -hmm. And based on what I gathered, I I I'm, I think I'd win. That's ultimately where I'm at. Who's the bigger bum, Ryan? Justin Bishop or, or, or Herman? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, oh, I, I think Justin's Justin's reputation and and his reality are, are, are accurate. I just think Herman's reputation is here and his reality is here. Why do you think that is, Ryan? Um, I've seen I've seen Herman pull. I met Herman in 2018 when I first pulled Dan Mosier. Dan beat me um, 6-0 um, that day, and I watched Herman pull the tournament, and he looked like a versatile puller, but he didn't win it. This was just a Louisiana tournament. Mm. I've seen him then pull. Uh, I watched a couple of tournaments uh, online on YouTube, um, and he, I think he lost a super match here and there. He lost. He, he. I just haven't seen the man win anything since I've known him, um, and I know that he. He has the, the the results from years gone by, but I just haven't seen him be the man that I've always heard that he is. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, uh, and I, know, so, I don't know. Winning winning IFA mm -hmm. in Poland last year, I didn't look at the the draw. I didn't even watch the IFA, but it was a very it, it was basically Polish nationals plus um, Swedish <laughs> nationals. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Herman Herman won Polish and Swedish nationals. I'm gonna I'm gonna go further and say I didn't think there's Lotti was there's Lotti last year, and I mean no, that neither neither, neither of those were, well. you know, no. and, and and that's the not from that's no criticism on the organisation, no criticism no, it's just on the, the organisers. The situation is key. It's fundamental. So basically, yeah. you so many countries. I spoke to people. I had messages from people saying, "Oh Neil, if I go to this show, do you think I'm going to get banned?" And I'm like, well, "I think it's a good chance." You know, what you've got to weigh up is, do do you care? I mean, you know, is that an issue for you? Is it not an issue for you? And whatever side of that you come down on is pretty much what you got your base your decision on. Because right now there are, I mean, if you only look at the ladies, you know, the Swedish ladies have been cut off at the knees because your Russian ladies aren't attending. Um, legendary mm -hmm. figures like Gabriela Vasconcelos. It's a shame that her legacy could be tarnished potentially uh, by not having the number of competitors in her class, which is already a thin class because, you know, you get dominant forces like that, people run. It's a, it's a great shame for, for arm wrestling. It really is. But uh, that the, that Herman match is one that, you know, it's just another one that people are going to hang on to now, mate. And you do love well, talking yourself into a mech, son. <laughs> well, I, I, I do like to make it happen. I, I already offered Herman. I said, look, man, I'll, I'll put 500 bucks on the table and I'll come, I'll come to your backyard and we'll pull. And, 
And he said no. Um, and <laughs> why? 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 He, why? He did. I don't know. He, he said he's, he's all, right now. Yeah, no, I no will joke. Five hundred dollars. I'll yeah. pull your ass today. <laughs> Swim over, no problem. Yeah. He, so he said no. Like I said, I said, I said he didn't need to put any money on the table. I'll just put five hundred on the table. I'll fly to his place and I'll pull him. Um, so that's ticking all the boxes when it comes to calling someone out. But he did say no. He, he, say he said he he said his elbow is not in a hundred percent shape. Okay. And I said, all right. Well, I said, let me know when your elbow is in shape, and we'll pull. And okay. and he was like, yeah, okay. So I don't know. Maybe th maybe this episode will get it over the line. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Interesting. As I say, I'm sure I, I'm sure that. Um, Herman did respond. I haven't seen that yet, so I'm going to keep my powder dry till I to hear what his response is on that. But yeah, I don't think the guys. I, I certainly don't think the guys frightened of arm wrestling people. I mean, he, like like we were talking about a moment ago, he went to the Zloty tour when it was a hard show and did very well. I've seen um, what I've seen of him. Dude can arm wrestle. Yeah, L losing to me some losing to me sometimes feels like a step down for people. In credibility, because I reach so far up um, on the credibility scale, often um, the people I reach up to, I, I tend to get the vibe that they feel like, well, shit, no, if I lost that match, I lose a lot of reputation. Mm. So maybe feel a bit of that. Yeah, that's another interesting thing, isn't it? Really, I mean, um, you haven't. T who would you put down as damaging losses for yourself, Ryan? I don't. I don't care for for losses. I like I, I'm happy to lose. Like anyone who. No, what calls I'm getting at, who do you who do you think is there somebody that you've who, who's the guy that you lost to where people are like, yeah, that guy's a bum, and yeah, he, he smacked Ryan about. I don't see that guy. Who is that guy? Well, the last guy I lost to that was a reputation step back was Jordan Davis, like in 2016 or something. Jordan um, Jordan's your training partner, though, you know. Yeah. But that's the thing. That was the first time he beat me. It was literally, um, I'd coached him up, and then he 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 kept a little bit secret from me, and then revealed it in in tournament day and and, and top rolled me. But um, as, as 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 you do. But I don't know. Like I I haven't had someone come from behind me in Australia anyway that I know of. That's not always a bad thing. Never was for me in prison. <laughs> So I, I don't know. Like I, I'll I'll always take a super match from anyone that really that is willing to travel to me and like as the for me if you're going to call someone out that you, that is above you you've got to travel to them you've got to accommodate all their needs you've got to make sure you're not really asking them anything and you've got to make it worth their while and so I get a lot of people say hey hey Ryan will you travel here to come and super match this guy and I'm like I don't even know who that person is I never heard of them mm. sorry I'm not going to travel there because I don't. I don't know. It doesn't help me, and I like it's too much. So I'm 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 interested in raising my credibility all the time. Sure. I want to. So Herman's one of those ones for me that seems like low hanging fruit that has way too much credibility. <laughs> it, yeah, but let, Ray, I mean, it, you think that if Ryan lost to Herman, he'd lose any credibility, really? No, 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 no. 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 Herman would lose some credibility, of course. Do you do, do you think so, really, though? Uh, again, I mean, this is perception the, of the community. I think perception of the community, they still rank uh, Herman higher. So, yeah. Mm. But, of course, it's a, it's a good plan, good match. I'd love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he comes out, of course, if he says, like, his elbow's hurt, I would never arm someone when I'm hurting. I'm like, there's, there's nothing I can do. You, you can take ibuprofen if you still feel painless. You're not arm on that day. So... If he has real problems, he has to deal with problems, and then you can fix it. Yeah. Well, but, but basically, Herman Herman said to me that he intends on pulling Zlotty, and I, so I said to him, "Well, let's let's go maybe a month and a half before Zlotty or something like that, so that it's enough time for you to heal your elbow. It's also enough time for you to have a warm up for Zlotty, and and it uh, it creates a bit of theatre for the arm wrestling world as well." Mm. I mean, it, it, it's certainly better if, if you're serious about wanting to pull Herman and, and he was serious about wanting to pull you, which I don't know when his elbow's healed. I'm sure he, he wouldn't be opposed to the idea, I doubt. But it's definitely better if you do do it one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, yeah, doing it, yeah. meeting at a tournament that then you are, that's 
You know, that's mm. that's open season. Anybody could have come off anything. That's just not anything. Really honestly, yeah. No, honestly, you, you guys know me. I'm I'm a far better super match puller than I am a tournament puller. Um, I, I round round one, I'm not as sharp. I'm never as sharp round one. But once I felt someone, I'm much better. See, I'm not even sure about that, Ryan. Honestly, mate, I think there's a lot of perceptions drawn. Um, you haven't pulled enough fucking tournaments for anybody to know how good you are in tournament arm wrestling. Not at that level, really. I mean, you've well, lost I'm, the I'm same in, guy I'm a few times in Oz, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm inexperienced in tournament level. Yeah. I, I just I just flat out am. I just, I've only had like 10 ready goes under European-style conditions. Because you got it. into super match arm wrestling pretty much in your infancy in the sport. I mean... You know, yeah. when did you pull Arm Wars? What was that? 14, 2014? When was that? Yeah, Sometime 14. around then. And and yeah. how how long into arm wrestling were you then, mate? I was a year and a bit. Yeah. yeah, see, most people, maybe it's changed a little now. A lot of people maybe do come into. I actually believe that people get into super match arm wrestling a lot these days before their yeah. time, before they've cut their teeth in tournaments. I don't know whether you guys would agree in that respect, but. I don't know. It, it, it can make you a little bit more shallow, I think. I love Super Match Arm Wrestling for building brand. I think to- tournaments tournaments don't build brand as much. Unless you're unless you're winning the tournament, they don't help you build your own brand. Where you can build an, a, a personal athlete brand by climbing a ladder of Super Matches. Like, I was I was so looking forward to watching Ray and... Um, and um, Fro- oh, so, yeah. So, so disappointed that didn't happen. I was, I was so ready for it. Mm. But uh, yeah, well, Ray, how got, are you feeling going right? for that? Who, who do you got? Who would you got? Oh, all right. Before Ray comments, I was gonna. I had to say, I had to. I actually saw it. Um, that I thought that Frode was gonna top roll, and uh, and and probably win with a top roll. I thought I didn't think Frode would be jumping underneath Ray's press. So I thought we were going to see Frode top roll, and and probably get the win. That's what my gut feel was. <laughs> I, I would say uh, from from what I felt, first of all, like uh, yeah, I, th- this match was announced. We came together. I think it was September or October last year. So uh, as soon as that happened, I just started in different mode training and everything. So my right arm has always been problems. I have ulnar nerve problems where I uh, just watch my matches back. It's always pain. I always hold my elbow, something like that. So I fixed all that. My right is even better. If I ask, doesn't matter, Devon, John, uh, Giannis, and then and, and, and Vlad, whatever. My right was better. I felt that with left, he has nothing against me, just with, just with the talent I'm working on. And with right arm, I don't think he can top on me. I don't think he can top on me. Well, I think it would still end up in his defensive position because I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm always attacking. I'm attacking. So the thing that worried me is if he would stop me, can I finish the match from that position? Because back when we were arm wrestling in last March or something, February, uh, if he stopped me, I couldn't do anything. But now practicing with Giannis that can hold in basically the same position, I can finish that match from there. So I was, I can't, tell you how disappointed I was. I'm like, as soon as they, they call me and say, Ray, don't come, two hours later, they lock down the whole country. Two hours later, after that, they lock down Latvia. I'm sitting at home. I, I went to the supermarket. I, bro- <laughs> I bought breakfast cereal, about uh, 1.5 kilos, and ate that for a whole day. I'm just like, I'm, <laughs> when, I'm, <laughs> when I'm depressed, I'm eating. So, yeah, I was so looking forward for that weekend. And the match. I can how how long did you prepare for it, right? Basically, since they announced mm. it. Uh, it. It was super, super hard because I was doing something every day for since November. As soon as I stopped traveling around, it was, oh, December, December, at the end of December, I just mm-hmm. started preparing for that. But that was all the time doing something, building, 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 and, and everything felt great. Everything felt much better than I have ever felt. Because, like, uh, I have said this many times before that I was just focusing on my athletes. I wasn't focusing on myself. I had a country to run, and I had athletes to train, and that was it. So now it was something that I can go alone where I don't have to waste my emotional energy. And 
I can't tell you how much I wanted to pull him. Oh my god, I, I got his number, and and it will happen as soon as this all all, all things COVID nineteen will be fixed. It's gonna happen. I'm one hundred percent sure. Well, that, that that match that match is is uh, the way I see that match is an opportunity for you to to, to gain a lot of credibility. I, I know where oh, you, yeah. Yeah. I know where you're at. Frode's one of those guys that has been in the in the, the, the headlights of the sport for, a, for quite a long time and, and everyone knows him and he's done well in arm wars, he's done well in um, WAL. So if you had to press that man to the pad, boom, 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 people would have been going, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Ray, we're we're going to get the Ray up here in the lights. I, 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 the idea was like another thing that worried me was uh, I didn't want to pin him. I know I have super, my, my press and my start, I felt like I would win him, especially on the box setup, because we were doing box rules. I, I'm like, okay, but I don't want to do that. I want to uh-huh. get that bigger win. So I'm like, you want to I make him fit himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was trolling me. He was like, will you make me pin myself? I'm like, I don't think I can do that, because I, his, his endurance and ability to hold in that open position is just amazing yeah really ridiculous yeah he's ridiculous he's a he's a legend of super matches like one of the best guys ever to be there and i was just so happy to have the opportunity but Mm. well Mm. it is what it is but like you say the match is gonna come you know it's gonna come because talk about the man who won't dodge anyone oh Uh, yeah oh yeah oh yeah I mean, you yeah. know, he is that dude. One thing I'll say about Froda, in some ways, he's a little bit like Herman in that he's one of those guys that's flaky in arm wrestling. He's in it, then he's out. He'll pull with injuries. He'll pull with anything. I mean, I've seen that guy pull when he's torn to pieces. I've pulled with him when he's torn to pieces and he doesn't feel all that. And then I've pulled him another day and he feels like he's been cast down by the gods. You know, he, 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 he literally... the. the he is that, you know, you said a moment ago, Ray, if I'm injured, I wouldn't pull anybody. Um, Froda's biggest detriment, he'll pull anybody, any day, anywhere, anytime, in any condition. <laughs> you know, I know. Yeah. crazy. Yeah. I've seen He's the guy crazy. sat on the stairs at Arm Wars, literally in tears with pain yeah. after one round, and he, and he completed the match. I mean, I'm yeah. saying to him, dude, you need to pull out on his line. No, I pull it out, you know. He, he's just. Um, there's no quitting him. There's no, no quitting. We, we have the saying, and, and Frodo lives up to it. You can give up anything except victory. And he's just like open and here, but mm-hmm. he will not give up the victory. Yeah. Yeah, he's um he's a beast. And if you obviously if you got past Frodo, um, would you then start to look for that the, you know the Holy Grail match of Tesh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at everything that, uh, as I said, I have some obligations for, for country and everything else. But uh, if I have a chance to pull someone where I don't have to be emotionally invested in something else, I'm up for it. So mm. whenever, yeah. yeah. What's I, your I weight like care. normally, Ray? What do you walk around at? Right now it is 85 kilos. 85 kilos. 85. 85. Okay, yeah, so I, was, uh, I, I cut down from 93. 93 I was at the start of February. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. so I cut down and now I'm this and I feel super good. So. And, and, and obviously, Ryan, you're around 90 kilos, yeah? The moment. Yeah, I was, ta- I was tapering down to 200 pounds for 601. And the, this morning I'm like 92 kilos. So um, I, was, I was right on track to walk in at 200 pounds. Yeah, I mean, you. I feel for both of you lads because obviously you've put so much preparation into your respective uh, endeavour, and to have it snatched away at the very last, it's. Uh, I mean, it's it, it, well, it, instead of instead of six oh one, I get to now set some new one at maxes in isolation. Well, <laughs> we're, and we're, you know what? That sets us up beautifully, Ryan. Actually, that sets us up beautifully for show number two. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, in which we talked about literally call that we were supposed to talk about, then please like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back with episode number two of The Fix very soon. Until then, take it easy, peeps.